No fear. I'm not afraid, are you? Hi, John. It's Jason Grant with Junior Paul. I work with DSK. Hi, Howard. Give that to Alan. Is this the last one you're waiting for? Yeah. Why? Well, um, somebody, uh, somebody moved a bunch of files around on the computer. It's a long story. So I ended up doing all this work and realizing that what I was listening to was slightly tainted. Oh, no. Well, do you have time to rework it? We have it till Saturday. Yeah, I can do that. I can do it tomorrow. This is like a marriage. And that's really true because sometimes we have we get along great and we think we're so lucky to have somebody like Jason working for us because most young bands that are not signed don't have the benefit of somebody to, to work on their behalf. And sometimes we hate his guts. It's like a disease. It's got hooking me, you know. I've tried to get away a couple of times and been unsuccessful. The most obvious perception being that it's glamorous and it's fun. I think a lot of people perceive the music business as being particularly glamorous. It's all parties. Yeah, I think he was just looking for the death, but Howard came by. Apparently there was a problem with the mastering today uh, on his end, so he's going to need to do it again. I, I used to think that ideally there were two kinds of managers, the kinds that have a lot of money and no time, and the kinds that have a lot of time and no money. Jason is sort of neither. When you're managing a band, you're the interface between that band and, and the rest of the music business and the rest of the world in general. And uh, basically promote their music in, in, uh, into every nook and cranny that you possibly can in the, uh, in the, in the music business and with uh, music consumers. I've already done this. If you're in a band, business. you're in business. So um, I, I encourage every artist that comes my way not to, not to just expect me to do everything for them. That they have to take an active interest in furthering their career and, and making business decisions with me. The difference between a manager and a booking agent is the booking agent is responsible for procuring live engagements or personal engagements for a band. An agent drives the live performance career for a band. And for a manager, you take the whole picture into account. The writing of your songs and the publishing of your material and uh, the royalties that come in from that. Dealing with merchandise and media relations, promotion, uh, the, the whole retail side of things. If a band is an independent band and you have your own record label and pressed your own CD, working and getting that into, uh, into stores and, or into a distribution network, you deal with the agent, you aren't the agent. A band manager hopefully has really good contacts within the industry, be it media or um, booking agents or promoters or club owners, other bands, a whole network of people who are directly related to your career who can help you accomplish what it is you're trying to do. Because Jason has really good connections, he can get things done quicker for us. Most interesting way I've gotten a band noticed. Um, can I pass on that question? I think resourcefulness is, is key. I think humility is important. I think you have to be able to knock on doors and go to the source of what it is you want to do, who you want to work with. That's key.